Hello there, I am Giant Quote with more Pokemon Ruby Redo in the last Pokemon Champion Elite Four Champion, Steven Stone. We beat him in battle, he's the master of uh, Steel type Pokemon, and we beat him in battle, so now we're the new champion basically. And now we got, after the credits and everything, after entering the Hall of Fame and, you know, entering a Pokemon in the Hall of Fame and getting the record saved and everything, we are back here in a little town in our house. Or not in our bed, but like, we'd probably start like right here or something. But I just wanted to start the video off, or the part off, in the bed, like I'm sleeping, which I'm not. Yeah, okay. So, who'd I have up front again? It's been a while since it's actually recorded. Okay, so, Smokey's up front. Cool. So, everyone's level 50. Well, okay, it's this here. Smokey is... Let me arrange my Pokemon, actually. All I have to do is switch uh, Metroid with uh, Twitch here. So, Smokey is level 56. Scream is level 56. Uh, Geico's level 56, Switch is level 56, Fighter, and and then Fighter and uh, Metro are level, level 57. So that's pretty cool. Let's go downstairs. I bet we have a big thing coming up here. Look, it's our dad. He's at home now. Awesome. Hmm. Hey, it's Steven. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came in to you from someone named Mr. Briny. Where did he go? Where did he go? We gotta check his cottage after, um, we, uh, get done here. Yeah, I had to burp this. That's why there's a pause. We get the- another burp. Jeez, okay. Okay, yeah. Um, we get the SS ticket. Cool. Okay, yeah. Hmm, my ticket for a ferry? If I recall that there's a ferry port in Sweetport and Willow Cove. Steven, if you, uh, if you have ambition as a trainer, go to the battle tower. I'm not gonna show that off, it's really not worth it. I don't feel like showing it off, it's just a place you can battle trainers and stuff. Maybe get a metal coat, I think, if you beat all the trainers in the first round or something. I can't even remember. Which metal coat, if you give it to an onyx as a held item, as a held item, then, uh, in trade, that onyx with that metal coat, or what's holding the metal coat, it evolved into steelix, so, yeah. It should not teach- it should teach you that there is no end to the trainer's chosen path. Yeah, okay. Whatever. This project's almost done for. It only has like three- honestly, it only has like four or five more parts, including this one. Because basically in this part we're pet catching Rayquaza, as you can see in the title. Somewhere in the title. <laughs> um, and then the next part we're gonna take- we're gonna unlock the Reggies. And- uh, yeah, unlock the three Reggies. Make sure their sealed caverns are done with and opened, I guess. Um, and next part we're gonna go after either Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, or Reggie Steel. The next two parts we're gonna go after the Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, depending on who's left. And then the the part after that's the final Reggie. Then the part after that is Latios, and that's basically it. So there you go. Uh, it, I better get back to the public gym, Mom. Thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. Okay. So I forget if your mom, if you talk to your mom and she take, gives you something or something. I don't know. That dad of yours, he comes home for the first time in a while, but he all he talks about is Pokemon. You should relax and stay a little longer. Okay, this is actually very important. Talk to you, TB. We bring you a special news bulletin. We've received uh, reports of a blue flying Pokemon in various horn lo lo locales. I guess you could say. The identity of this Pokemon has not yet been determined. We will turn to you with your regular. We now return to your regular movie presentation. So, if you're playing Pokemon Sapphire version, it'll say, "Oh, this Pokemon that's blue and it's uh, red and it's flying," but that's Latias. Which I put a PNG on screen if I can find one. I'm pretty sure I can find one on like a Bulbapedia or something of a Latias on screen right now. And then uh, if you're playing Ruby Sap Ruby version like me, you'll you'll see it'll say like it'll just say like it just said, "Hey, a boo flying Pokemon's in the air flying around." We don't know who, what it is though, who what Pokemon it is. That's Latios, which I put a PNG from Bulbapedia on screen right now just to show you what Latios looks like. He's blue, and then Latios is red. There's, yeah. Okay, whatever. Cool. So let's fly to Pacific Log Town, actually. Well, I want to make sure I have plenty of items, too. Um, does Pacific Log have a test smart? I don't think it does. Okay, we should tr we should check how many Ultra Balls we have first, because we'll need a lot of them. We have 16, okay. I should be good, honestly. Um, let's see how I do with that. If we miss last words before I stink it up. So we're going to fly to Pacific Log Town now, because... We can, we've visited the place before in this project, so we can fly to it easily, so that's awesome. I don't think I need to help up my Pokemon, so that's good. 
I think the only HM you need is Surf. Take a type of quiz, um. Yeah. So let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's uh, go to, so let's make sure we have repels though. Jeez. Please tell me I have plenty of repels. I have 30 max repels. That's good. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, my first Pokemon up is Smokey. So Smokey will repel Pokemon on, in this water routes. Um, uh, what Pokemon, what Pokemon in general that are level 50, well, level 55 or below. So that's good odds for, uh, even, you know, Spirit, Sky Pillar that we're gonna go to, whatever. Sky Tower. I think, I even forget what it's called. But yeah, just wanna surf around here, and this gap right here is where you wanna go to. I think it may have been blocked off before you beat the Pokemon League, so I don't think you could catch the Quizza before you beat the Pokemon League. But, uh, I could be wrong on that. You're a Sky Pillar. Okay, you're a Sky Pillar, not Sky Tower. Okay, whatever. Maybe Sky Tower is where the Quiz is, and honestly, Sky Pillar, nice. Okay. I'm not gonna go check for a hidden item, I'm just gonna go right into this. Sky Pillow, okay. Do I have the mock bike? Please tell me I have the mock bike because you need the mock bike instead of the aqua bike to do this puzzle. So, yeah, you have the mock bike. Cool. So, uh, let's go on our bike to go a little bit faster. So, this first floor, it doesn't have the puzzle, so that's good. It's a little breather room. But the second floor, these, you know, this, um, yeah, these floors, okay, I'll just show off real quick, if you just, okay, first of all, if you just step on them without your bike, it's a goal, even with an aqua bike, you just fall right through it here, and then fall to the floor below, so you don't want to do that, you actually want to just hop on your Mac, Mac, Mac bike, and just ride across them like that quickly, okay, yeah, so you got through the first section, oh, I messed that up, shoot, I hate this, it's gonna be a bunch of trial and error, honestly, oh, shoot, oh my gosh, no, I'm wasting my pearl steps, jeez. Okay. Oh, I hate when your pearl wears off right there. It ruins your speed. Jeez. Oh my gosh, this sucks. Stupid pearl wore off. Okay, I should put another pearl on before what Pokemon encounter comes encounter. I think, um, the Pokemon in here under level 55, but I could be wrong. So maybe their repel doesn't repel, uh, all the Pokemon, or my Smokey doesn't help repel all the Pokemon here. But, um, I'll just switch over to, uh, either Metroid or, uh, Fighter, I guess, because it can repel Pokemon level 56 or below, so that might help a little bit more. But I don't know, I haven't checked the levels for the Pokemon in here, really, so I'm not for sure. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take a while. I might as well just cut to where I get to the next segment where I can explain it. That's what I might do, honestly. Shoot. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I hate this. This is dumb. There we go, I got it finally. Nice. We don't that stupid first floor of freaking whatever. My pull off, of course. Okay, I'd I rather repel. I'd rather just. You know, we're off there instead of like in the middle of a puzzle where I'm trying to use my mock bike across these cracked floors. But yeah. Okay, so this one is, uh, nope, I messed it up. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, this sucks. Okay, I'm gonna scoot to the right. There we go, nice, okay. No, I almost had it on my, like, on my second try, basically. But I messed it up. Ay, ay, ay. That's, that kind of sucks, honestly, if you think about it. Okay. Okay, there we go. No, I messed it up. Oh, man. Trying to get into one of those two uh, cracked voices that fall in the middle there, where it's on the right side of where I landed right there. But uh, I messed it up. Nope, I messed it up. Shoot. I might as well, oh, sure, I didn't mean to, I mean, I didn't mean to fast forward there. Just, I was getting anxious because I was like, I hate just having to redo the floor and stuff. Or did we do the puzzle? Oh my goodness, this sucks. Why? I hate this puzzle. Okay, I got a second chance on doing this now. Nope, oh my gosh. The Mac bike is so hard to control. Honestly, in my opinion, it's really hard to control. I should have, I could have practiced this, practiced this before, but I just didn't, honestly. Let's put another pill on. I might as well just cut again to where I finally get it. There we go, I got it that time, nice. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, don't fall through those cracks, because then you'll have to do some of the puzzle, and that want to be fun. But, uh, we... 
Oh man, what might I pull off? Well, actually, it was a mob with Mawile. So 56, okay, yeah. Um, try to run from it, I guess. Yeah, yeah we say for cool. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to, uh, I guess Metroid so I can repel 56 and higher, I guess. 56 or lower, I should say. Um, yeah, Metroid wants to go up front because it has, has Ice Beam and it'll be good against the uh, Rayquaza. Because it's Dragon Flying, so it'll be four times with the uh, Ice Time moves such as Ice Beam. So, I want to make sure that I repel on still. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully, we don't run into the Pokemon here. But I could be wrong. Okay, so uh, I'm in on the part right here. As you can see up there is Rayquaza right there, so that's pretty cool. But um, I guess we can uh, save in the part like, right here, I guess. So yeah, I'm actually in the part right here because uh, the puzzle took me longer than uh, I wanted it to and I kind of want to split the video here and uh, end the video here, I guess you could say, um, and uh, catch Rayquaza in the next part. So yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to wish you again goodbye and hope to see you guys next. So this has been Janko again. So this has been my Pokemon Ruby read of other part. Next part will take on Rayquaza and hopefully catch it. Which hopefully we will. And yeah, of course we're gonna catch it, obviously. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to wish you again goodbye and hope to see you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby Redo walkthrough guide.